Welcome to Crusader Kings 3, learning as we play, teaching as we play, in here with our Empire of Carpathia, which we have built from the very ground up in the county of Gemer is where we started many, many, many a ruler ago, and we have built all this from literal scratch, if you can believe it. And now we will just continue playing a little bit, I would say. So let's keep going. We are still the first in line to inherit the Kingdom of Finland. Which... While we are no longer the schema, we are the charismatic negotiator, so... But again, this was the, the smoothest transition of power we've ever had, or had in a long, long time. So what war are you fighting? It's a liberty war you're defending against. Should we offer to join your war? We cannot because we're not your ally. Would you like to be an ally of us? Cannot negotiate that alliance. Let's befriend the man. 1% chance that he'll be up for it. I don't know exactly why his children aren't eligible. Why I am his heir. Oh, okay. I think I... How is how is he my cousin but of a different dynasty? Oh right, okay. He's the son of that was probably a matrilineal. You don't know where these guys are coming from. Our oh, dynasty is too old now to really follow these things through. So there's a decent knight again. Which we'll take happily. Let's add him to the roster, maybe? Okay, now we have a bunch of good knights already. Uh, do we have... Okay, we have this, it's fine. We have a successor here. We do not, let's seek one. Do we have a worthy successor here? We do not, so we're not gonna seek one either. So the most thing, the most interesting thing that we can do still is kind of get the unifying the Slavic people. But there's still a lot left to do and we would have to face the Byzantine Empire in that process. Not entirely sure if we want that. Uh, there was a patch since last time and now. So the flavor pack for Persia has released, which did come with certain changes. So I'm not quite sure. I, I read a little bit about it, but I'm not entirely certain this really affects us much. There might be a dynasty thing where we can go for. Uh, we're not going to give him a weak hook on us. We already have 100%. So let's go check that out, maybe. Oh, what's that? House Unity. All right. Okay. So this is a new, f uh, new f thing that they introduced. I thought that was only for clan, but apparently that is for everyone. Taking unified actions and decided. Uh, okay. So there's new challenges and and stuff around that. So what does it do for us? The house succession was. Does it really matter? Uh. We're building a bunch of stuff. We're upgrading all of our castles, exactly. So let's check our succession laws. House seniority partition, all good. So what does that mean? The house succession law is impassive succession. It isn't. Um, okay. House members may challenge the house head in order to take their place. Do we get the monthly lifestyle experience plus 10%? We can check that. Then we see if it really applies to us or not. Uh, so let's go into our lifestyle here. We are getting 30% from who we are. So intelligent 20 from domain 10% and charismatic negotiated 30%. So that isn't here. 
Unless from the main means that. I don't think it does. So does, does that unity thing actually mean anything for us? I thought this was just for the clans. Well, we'll see. What does that mean? Player opinion plus 15. All children inherit. Glory hound vassal. Under impressive succession, the lion's share of the tiles will go to your player heir. The rest will be divided between your children. Yeah, okay. That, but that's not what we got. That's a lie. <laughs> Friendly succession. Okay. Right, I wanted to check here. Open dynasty tree. There is who the head is. Okay, that's a little bit of rework. Okay. We like that. That's fine. Uh, there are 11 houses in our dynasty. That I, I don't know if that was a uh, extra button. I don't think. So that's pretty cool. You can see all those cadet branches. So ours is this lovely little minty swirl. Basically that we always had. And the minty swirl is in all these little cadet branches. Which I like. So we have 186. Uh, 68. 86. Uh, living members. It was founded in 744 AD. And we have a bit of a military strength going for us. But there, there are others. What I wanted to see is this. Customs activities. Okay, these are all pretty much the same. I don't think I see a different one. So I feel like the new one that they added is only for dynasties down in the Middle East. Let's see, what else might they have added? Let's just check through a bunch of in menus and see if there's something interesting and new. Doesn't look like it. Let's check the decisions. Maybe there's some favor skilled outsiders. Bring foreign... T okay, scandalizing our vassals. Oh, no. We could commission an artifact, and I think we should because... If we check our stuff, why no regalia? All oh, right, we destroyed it. So I was thinking, okay, we're gonna just commission a new one, and that's what I wanted to do. So we'll get ourselves a local artisan to create us a new regalia. There is nothing new here, no. Let's see, Men the Great Schism, no, Dynasty of Men the Great Strength, these are all old as well. Let's see, activities, there's nothing new here, so we might do one. Um, what are we? I think we're, we're Hunter, and we're an Eager Reveler, so getting into these would be pretty decent. v Nature. would that help? What would be better for us, v Nature. I mean, it gives us a small health boost. So I'm thinking V nature. So let's go do a hunt. And we'll go for a hunt like that. So this is in the V nature uh, tree. Basically. And so real good hunting is out here in Vazma. Hills stag was sighted here. No holdings. It has high development though, so... Wolf sighting, wolf sighting, stag sighting. I think we'll go there. It's close by. There's no danger for us. It costs 263 gold to do so. And we will want to slay the beast. Let's go do that. Advice on house unity. Okay. Learn about house unity for clans. It says there. We're not a clan. All right. As a clan, you have access to House Unity, but I am not a clan. House Unity represents the state of internal relationships of each house. Okay, yeah. Uh, open the house. Yeah, okay. The House Unity tab shows all the information and interactions you need to make to make the most out of House Unity. Yeah. Sure. House Unity has its own effects. Yes, we know. Okay. Finally, each clan house has access to the house unity decision. These decisions will grant different boons for all house members. However, for the most part, only house head can enact them. I understand. What I don't understand is why I have these. I'm not a clan. 
We'll, we'll check in a moment again, but I don't I don't think we're a clan. Uh, let's see. Maybe I'm misunderstanding that it's not necessarily just for clan type. I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out. We'll 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 have a look and we'll check and we'll see and we'll understand it. Uh, let's see. The procession has ground to hold. Ah, oh, yeah, right. Um. Is this our? Who is that? He's a, oh, a knight. He's he's no one. He's just a oh, he's a very good knight though. Um. Fine, we'll find another path. I don't care. We can can be a little bit slower. Uh, you want to make a lamellar armor. Do we want to sponsor this? We have a pretty decent armor already. I don't feel like sponsoring that. So... Ooh, oh boy. Oh boy, okay. I think the game isn't too happy if I scroll out too far and then scroll around. Let's go a little bit closer. <laughs> right, uh, let's, let's 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 try and figure this out. So, we are a feudal empire. We are not a clan. I will. Let's go find a clan. So these guys here, clan empire. See, there's a clear distinction. I don't know why we have access to that. That is really weird. Might be a bug that, that hasn't been patched out yet. Or it's one of those, it's not compatible with a past save game, so there you go now. Shouldn't affect as much, but there you go. We have a successor for a potential accolade. He is, uh, okay, knight. Let's see. We are hunting and we are going into our knights. Where is that guy? It's basically going to find this guy, Torkan. And he was the successor for this, I think. Yes. Skirmisher. Scoundrel. Let's keep going. I mean, there are add-ons that help with the interface for that, but I don't think they're achievement compatible. And I do like myself some achievements. So, who should we make a uh, master of the hunt? Uh, definitely Slavoj. He's a friend of ours, isn't he? He's just a godless lackey. No, no, no. Slavoj. Slavoj will be the right master of the hunt here. I really like how he looks. It's, it's a bit of a mix out of Wrecked Rolf and uh, the guy from King of Queens, kind of. <laughs> Man, I used to love King of Queens. All these older shows are quite often extremely difficult to watch these days. Quick look at our outline here. Domain holdings. Eh, well. What is our boy doing? Yeah, he's helping with construction. This is already at minus 34% construction time. That's kind of crazy. We are known for our faith. We are as a devoted servant. Oh. Can you imagine? The artifact might gain a dynasty modifier. I absolutely want a dynasty modifier. Absolutely want that. Thank you. Appreciate it. It's very kind of you to ask about it. <sighs> Prince Rothart of Carpathia has died. Um... Duchy of Slesia, so you are... I uh, can't negotiate that. So we'll make you our friend after this guy. So now let us be friends here. We'll just be friends with everyone that we can get. You don't need an alliance if you're friends. Oh, but we can ask the Pope for some money, so we'll definitely do that. Um... Do we go for the stag or do we go for the wolf? I think we'll go for the wolf. And ask the Pope for some money. Because we are not quite done with having all the money, you see. 
We definitely want all the money. <laughs> all right, praise Saint Matthew. The Pope has heard us. A guest was wounded, oh no. Slightly increase our experience. Stocked Medicus. Disease resistance, medium boost. For five years, that's not bad. Can just no, no, get back on your horse. Though we are patient. King Budo is leaving. Ah, we'll take the health boost and the slight hit on our relationship with Budo. Punish the poachers. Ah, uh, no, I don't want to decrease our success chance slightly. They will hang and the villagers will pay. Popular opinion goes down in somewhere. It doesn't matter to me. It's not my county. <laughs> After it, we ride. The method is more perilous. But success chance increases, so we'll go for that. Uh, Great Moravia, Hungary, Great Moravia. They don't get their vassals. They have been historically quite rebellious. Both these kingdoms. Look at how strong everyone is. That's crazy. They're not even half our size, and yet they're also strong. You complete Slay the Beast intent. I will shoot it myself, yes. I'll bring it down myself. There's just some opinions for extra prestige in it. Don't see Pal Trophy Artifact will not be available. Uh, we'll slay it ourselves. So we managed. We have slain the beast. Let's see. We become the owner of the cursed wolf hide. Light effectiveness plus 5%. Prestige a little bit. That's not super interesting. Um, we could give it to King Bernard of Italy. Yeah. We'll give it to our Italian friend there. Look at all these kings hunting together with the Empire. Ah, yes. So the reason I didn't want that is because we have better things up. And I can't destroy it for money. Because it's too high of a level. Uh, so it really doesn't make much sense. Okay. We're very close. I think three more years until we are allowed to add something more in the Slovian culture here. Sadly, it only shows us once we get here. Oh! Oh, 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 we can. So I was quite keen on getting castle keepers. Because it gives prestige entry noun. But I'm not so sure now. So let's have another look here. Esteemed hospitality. Guest recruitment costs down, down, down. Uh, personal schemes. Is not, not super bad. Hereditary hierarchy. Alter trade. Tyranny goes down less quick. Isolationist. Uh, legalistic. I mean, we have a lot of smithies. The royal armories have additional bonuses. The crown smithies have additional bonuses. Army gold maintenance plus 5%. Army toughness plus 5. City holdings have more taxes. Nah. State ransoming. Ruling caste. Different culture, peasant factions, and populist factions are less common. Dread decay. Okay. Siege progress against revolts. Okay. <laughs> Staunch traditionalists. Uh, no, that's not great. Let's check out the other things that we can go for. I want something that makes a little bit sense RP-wise. So let's check the social thing because our lad, he is he's more of diplomat, yeah? So he would go something diplomatic, maybe like charismatic. Children tend to be better in diplomatic education. Uh, personal scheme success chance plus 7%. 
Uh, enemy has also plus 10% more chance. Court Grandia change plus 15% travel save. Nah, that's not super interesting. Uh, for bearing loyal subjects. Vassals of this culture do not consider differing faith or culture when joining factions. Uh, okay, that's a bit of a problem, meaning bigger potential bigger factions. Vassals of the culture will often learn the language of their liege, okay? Learn language successfully. The loyal trait is more common, which is good. Characters of this culture are more willing to send away, take, and return hostages with their liege, which is okay. Um, opinion of liege plus 10. Not bad. Uh, martial admiration. That's one of the better ones. Uh, injury resistance. Prowess plus 5. Number of knights plus 2. Accolade galore regain plus 10%. So, yeah, that's that's one to keep in mind. But again, that doesn't really fit. Noble adoption. Characters are able to uh, offer adoption to children who are not directly related to any rulers. Characters of this culture can adopt without spending any prestige or renown. That's crazy. Guardians of this culture are more effective. I mean... Ritualized friendship. Now... Keep in mind, the cost, this does not actually uh, reflect whether or not it's good or bad. It's just whether or not it's close to our established uh, rules and traditions already. So what do we have here? Automatically has access to the friend scheme. I like that. May ask friends to become best friends. I like that. Best friends can use an interaction to gain a bonus skill while modifiers at the expense of extra stress. Scheme power against friends. That's not super interesting. So... Ritualized friendship I like. That's pretty good. Uh, the right to prove. Mm, it's not bad. Let's see ritual. Culinary artists. Frequent festivities. Concubines. Monogamous. Polyamous. Uh, polygamous. If allowed by gender law. Okay, does our gender law currently allow that? All rulers can have concubines or multiple spouses if their faith has the concubines of polygamous doctrine. I mean, what's more... What's more diplomatic than making several relationships work? <laughs> Tabletop warriors... I mean, I kind of like that. Marshal plus two for everyone is big. Uh, army movement speed to plus 10%. Sacred Hunters, get some piety out of it. Maybe just go with Connie Raids because it's... It's it's regional. It's only to us, kind of. Uh, siege weapon effectiveness minus 20%, though. I don't like that. That's That's a big no. So I'm a little bit torn here. I must say, I'm torn between only characters of the same faith can inherit. Nah. I'm, I'm torn between concubines and polygamous and ritualized friendship. That's what I'm a little bit torn on. Maybe charismatic. Maybe charismatic. I don't think industrious really fits. Though we are building a lot. That is quite true. Loyal subjects. Oh wait, no, I misread that. They are not going to enter a faction because they have a different faith than, than us. I think we'll go with loyal subjects. Honestly, he... It's not... It, it wasn't on the list right now. But I think we'll go with that for the main reason that it fits him most. Like, he took the throne and there was barely anything. There was one rebellion... We put, we put it down and it wasn't even a big one. So I think that really fits. You know, it takes nine years to be adopted. So let's establish this tradition. We still have 
one more after that that we can have or we can switch it around. And it kind of works with xenophilic. Uh, so different cultures and all that doesn't, doesn't really matter much out here. Of equal inheritance. Like, you know, we're, we're kind of... We're about the peace. When we're not about the war. <laughs> Which... Given the extent of our empire, we are quite a few times. We are quite a few times about the war. Uh, that's... That's absolutely a thing. Can't pretend it isn't. Okay. What's this? County of Krakow loses mismanaged pastures and gains it. Okay. 80% chance we make something better here in Krakow, which we would like. Um, a blind pig could run this place better than Rodana. Alright, let's try. Critique absorbed. Lost mismanaged pastures. Pasture gained improved pasture for 15 years. Nice. That is really good. And we're back. Can have a grand tour or grand tournament. What do we have here? Stifled commerce. That might have been us. So religion divergent is also a thing, but we are never going to be pious enough for that. Our acquaintance, uh, Vezislav. Vezislav? Vezislav. Our friend died. That's a bit stressful. Uh, you never want the friend to die on you. What's this? A ghostly pen. Okay. Oh, you precious darling, it must be such a hardship to live life as one abandoned by the muses. Command armies, but you cannot command the written word. Has mankind ever witnessed a more exquisite tragedy? Allow me to assist you. I would write some of your speeches for you. Tell me the theme, and I shall apply a beauteous turn of phrase. We get a ghostwriter. <laughs> Increasing our diplomacy for five years. Um, personal scheme power, plus five... My words could use a certain florid infusion, indeed. So he gets a weak hook on us, which I don't like. Um, I would prefer you write a poem for my beloved. Let's do that. Oh, sweet, sweet empress. Can you imagine? Look at this. Our primary heir is a daughter. A daughter. Uh, who has the learning focus? Who's educating you? No one? Ah, no. She's doing that. She's gonna do a great job. Let's leave our court to escape the hustle and buzz. Wait. What artifact do we have? What's new? The renowned heart hide. That's a big renowned bonus. Let's uh, go and repair our stuff though while we're here. Do we have this on display? No, we don't. So we don't really care. We're only going to repair what we have on display. So this has plus zero five, plus twelve, three and five. Alright, this has way more. I think. No, it doesn't. The branch of the tree of life. It would be lovely to be able to have that. Uh, but we don't have the re prerequisite requirement. Which it doesn't actually say. You are of a something faith. I would totally destroy that, but... What can I reforge it to? Huh? No, I can't reforge it. Do we have a court antiquarian? Yes, we do. And then let's go repair our equipped stuff at least. While we have the money, we're gonna... Everything that's equipped. Everything. 
everything that's not equipped will just go and destroy itself in a little while. Oh, 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 things are being built now. Yes. Call to war. In the war for the Duchy of Georgia. All right. I'll send you my men at arms. How about that? What are we facing here? Oh. Okay, I will send you more than my men at arms. How about that? <laughs> That's a little bit more than, than I expected there to be. Uh, who's fighting? Okay, the fighting is happening back there. And you're already kind of struggling. That's why you're calling me. Do we come from the north? Um... Maybe? Let's come from the north. Maybe come by sea. Who knows? So we want... All men at arms here. And we'll raise the local army as well. That's not too much. But it's gonna be a fine army we're sending. An army that might just get bonked instantaneously. Into oblivion. Yeah, we're gonna go by ship. Which we can afford, so we'll do it. Yes. King Yakov. My dear vassal. You bring nothing but yourself. It is appreciated. Why can't I click back in this thing? I'll never understand why they made this work so different from everything else. Send child to, to university. Like, I would love to, but that is insanely expensive. Look at this. Uh, send to university. 2,250 gold. <laughs> What is his hardest kill, I wonder? Sure, let's talk a little bit about hunting there. Oh, we should do a feast while we are doing nothing much else. Or can we go on a hunt already? No. Let's go have a feast at home. Not a murder feast, mind. Just a lovely feast. And our goal will be befriend. Who do we want to befriend? I mean, our wife is already our soulmate, but she's not our friend. Let's befriend our wife. Doesn't really matter at this point, but I think it's cute. Who will be our honorary guest? Um, oh, there's so many good options. Let's take one of our kings, shall we? Oh, they're actually not our kings, they're external kings. Let's take the King of Bavaria. He will be our honorary guest. And we're good on the cost. So let's start that feast. Available perk. Praetorian Guard. Monthly prestige per night plus 1%. Not that we really need it, but we'll take it regardless. Okay. Uh, we didn't befriend the man, but we got closer to it. Fair enough. How are there so many troops on the side of Georgia? Who is joining? Who is in this? Oh, okay, these guys over there. So we got the Slovian Regalia, which does nothing for renown. Well, thank you. We'll take it anyway. <laughs> I mean, it's better than nothing which we have at the moment. It's not as great as I would have liked it to be, but that's... Alright, okay. We, we kind of arrived there at the very last second of it, so... Our troops were never needed. It was a net loss. In any which way you can imagine. Ah, well. 
By the way, for anyone watching over on Twitch, if you've got any questions regarding Crusader Kings 3, this specific campaign, whatever you have questions, just let me know in the chat. I'll try and help answer anything you might want to know about Crusader Kings 3 as far as I know it. And as you can see, I know a little bit. I know a little bit. We have survived some horrible, horrible times here. So, and so can you. With the right guidance. And some determination. Uh, yeah, I wanted to check if we can build something new now. And we can. We can upgrade to... Swinger from Curtain Wall. That is indeed... For heavy cavalry, pretty good. Uh, but we have our pikemen station here, so... Uh, do we have anything... Yeah, okay, this is better for heavy infantry. Let's check everything else first. Though, honestly, with the cost that this has, it's nothing will take it. I mean, comparatively, it's still a lot of money, but we are pretty good on that at the moment. So we'll upgrade what we can. 228. Good God, the fort level is just... That's just something else. So we're not done here yet. Uh, what's our current fascination? Knighthood is happening anyway in two years because it's being exposed to us from someone else. And we're working on Castle Baileys, which will unlock a whole bunch of new upgrading options uh, in 15 years. Troth can marry. My sister... And my brother-in-law. Uh, they won't accept. Okay, they still married. A new knight has been found. But he isn't actually quite good. Nah. Sorry. I know you did your best trying to find that man, but he really is not up to our requirements here. So what's our, our development at the moment? 33. Where do we stand on the grand scheme of things here? Look at that. Krakow is the absolute light, the beacon of Eastern Europe. We are as well developed as Paris, almost. Definitely. More developed than the brutish English. Well, no one comes quite close to papacy. Let's have our feast started. What a good evening. It's starting very well. Obviously the Bazellias here. And uh, France have uh, all these advantages. But we are working on it. Let's see. 91% chance our Empress becomes our friend, which we want. There we go. So she is now our soulmate and friend. Can you imagine? Let's go mingle with the people. We lose a little, little, little less stress, but... Uh, everyone who is at the feast gets plus 20 opinion from us. Uh, of, of us, excuse me. A promise is a promise, no matter what. Okay. It was just drunken rambling. So everyone gets five opinion of us as respect, which is interesting because otherwise this generally goes badly. And now we will toast to our guest of honor, King Dittmar. We're still allied with Italy, which is kind of nice. Not allied with Bavaria. Non-courtly attending vessel. Fifteen opinion. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Alright. Okay. Great banquet. For five years. Development growth plus 20%. We'd like to see it. Let's finish our feast. Very successful all around. Everything we did want to achieve, we achieved. And we go on another hunt. Money permits. So we shall. Where do we go? Up there is good a lynx sighting. 
Let's go. And our goal will be again... Do we befriend someone else? Oh yeah, the King of Valachia. Let's try that. And... I mean, we're allied with him. Come join our activity. Anyone we need to sway? No, everyone absolutely loves us. So you're not our friend yet. You should be our friend. Let it be so. You're also not our friend yet. Ah. Everyone in the court will be our friend eventually. I wonder what exactly is like the the bar for what constitutes a friend. When are you a friend? Not just in the context of the game, but generally. To you, in your life. When are you a friend? Let's see. Germany. They are quite chunky. They have land we would like. But they are quite chunky. Can we create like an interesting kingdom up there maybe? I mean, this would be good. If we have that, we have a whole lot of du jour claims. So we can afford it, we'll do that. And of course, people will want that now. But no one hears of our dynasty. It's okay, who do you are? Oh, who are you? August Hunter. He was kind of like us. That's nice. But he's a really, really strong soldier. What's our... Nah, it's all fine here. I think we'll give it to him. Make him a king. Only recently created, you get the kingdom of Pomerania. It's nothing yet, but eventually it will be. And now we should have more interesting claims on Germany, which we can't see right now, but once we're done with the hunt, we'll be able to see. Oh. It's Vinga has been constructed, so... We can go immediately up to Alter Bailey's, giving us some more money income, which is lovely. Supply limit in the county goes up by, by 2%. We'll take it. And let's get out there. We're not f flushing that thing out. We'll go take it ourselves. We'll go seek it. And let's stock our Medicus. I don't care about him practicing witchcraft, as long as it keeps us alive. No, I don't want a secret. Talk later, courtier. After it we ride. Success chance goes up. We're doing good on our hunts, honestly. Uh, intrigue challenge. Someone shot at us. Will we find out who it was? Nope, there is no clue. We're only a little bit stressed. Ah, darn. Shouldn't have said something. It was too early. Now it got away. Let's finish our hunt. Aldous of the Bondsman got some glory there. Our hunter experience increased ever so slightly. Okay, so now we should have a pretty decent war. Casus belly here on this. So seize all du jour lands. That is that. Oh, what's going on here? Travel chop chop. Okay. 
4% chance we lose some leg here. Okay, let's let's hack that thing and get some sore muscles. Oh, actually, no, nope, just went that. Okay, so we can seize all du jour lands because we now have claims on all of this due to the kingdom that is within our country. And I think we'll take that. 18,000 against our 23,000. We might call in Italy. Just because I like bossing Italy around. Um, should we have him? I mean, he's really good at something. But he's also super old. Like, he's gonna die soon. No, well, thanks. Uh, what's up? Sorry, my soulmate. It was my turn. And look, and I fell asleep at the rains. Uh, we gain some extra travel experience. Our journey is delayed by two days. Well, that's fine. Okay. So we could go for that. But we want to go for all of this. Let's check before maybe someone has a whole kingdom claim title thing here. You never know. Nope. So this is our best bet. Uh, they adjusted how much war declarations cost as well. Oh, we're no longer allied with Italy. Just in time. And he doesn't want to negotiate that alliance. Uh, okay, fine. Do you want to negotiate an alliance? No? Ah, uh, well. We'll crush the Germans regardless, I think. Let's move our flag over yonder. And we'll raise all. Because we are facing, facing 18,000. That's not something to be trifled with. I don't want to leave this up to chance. And now you see why we want a big buffer at a certain size of kingdom. Because this is really quite a problem financially to keep something like that up. Uh, what do you want? Helping others is its own reward. Sure. Ah, a good omen from a duck. We'll take it. I mean, look at that. You c this, is, this is unsustainable. Alright. Okay, so we see all his army immediately. Very good. So let's join our army together as well. And we'll go straight to the offensive, I think. If we can catch him. That is, we might not be able to. Do we not have a better commander? Us. We are the best commander here. Oh no, now we're definitely not. That decreases our chance. Equal. Less. Less. I don't like that. Winter Soldier. I suppose we go with equal. But that's not a good sign for us. Um, okay, I don't care. We befriend the Duke. Okay, there's even more troops coming. Honestly, let's just go attack him here. He has to come through my lands anyway. He is a flexible leader. Okay, that here might be very good for us. Because that army is probably gone by the time we reach that army. So we'll fight a little bit of a smaller army. Ah, uh, we're actually not. Okay, let's see how this turns out. This might be a battle which we lose pretty much immediately. Which is a big shame. He has heavy cavalry, we do not. Offer vassalization acceptance plus 20. That might be good. Um, so what do we do about this little problem there? Let's call in Italy. The Duke. Let's call in Permia. 
because I'm not I'm not super convinced we can win this entirely on our own. I mean, this battle looks okay, but don't be fooled. Could go many ways still. Oh, actually, it's not, but... Didn't look like it would absolutely go like that. Uh, oh man, I don't like social manipulation as a as a as an event. It's just not super interesting to me. We'll go with whatever this is. All problems will be blamed on her. Yeah, I'm kind of happy to. I wish there wasn't an option. There was an option that was less annoying, obnoxious. So we'll split our army and we'll start sieging here. Uh. Okay, we are apparently not we're start we're not starting the sieging. I think we'll split this army again. So we only have the siege. Oh, that's fine, these guys. So we have this army to hunt. Oh, will we actually catch someone? No, I don't think so. And this army to siege. Though we need to keep an eye on them. For sure. Oh, very good. We fight in their territory, which is good for us because we reduce their defender advantage being a flexible leader. And this might work out super well in our favor. Because before everyone really arrives, we'll already have defeated a whole bunch of troops. So they trickle in. And we make pretty good headway. Uh, a lovely idea. idea. Who is that? Your mother. Ah, sh shine. Sh sure. Name our newly born daughter after that. After her. Another learning focused one. Why not? Let's educate her. Give her a better guardian than me on that end. Chasna. She has done as well. Anyone want to be our vassal? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Duke Regina of Orbash. Or Or Orbin. Orban Osh. Sure. And Livonia, which is probably there. Come on in. Religious exemption. Religiously protected. They can be whatever they want. No. Nah. Come on with low obligations. So we've beaten this army now. Um, we'll follow along, because I don't want this army to be unprotected. Uh, the Italians probably sieging some in the south or wherever. Uh, let's quickly check if these guys are rightful vassals of someone or something. Or the Kingdom of Estonia, which is tiny. That's really not worth it. And this guy... Where is he? Orban Osh. What do you belong to? Kingdom of Vladimir. Which does exist. So we'll grant them the vassal. This guy there. And then we go and befriend this man. Oh, why can't I befriend him? Ah, we tried and we failed, I think. No, he's already our friend. Who was I looking at for a second there? Okay, we have some enemy combatants who are ripe for a ransom. Oh, we can ask the church for money. Good stuff. We are definitely out of that. Fresh out of money. Thank you, my dear Pope. I appreciate it greatly. Such an important thing. See, they flee up to here and they might then turn around and just jump that army. And they are not really capable of doing a proper defense. 
there. Ah, oh, no, we'll send them this way. Will we catch anyone? Will we catch them before they flee? More prisoners that are definitely able of ransoming themselves. Will we really inherit the Kingdom of Finland? Is that really gonna happen? That would be so cool. A faction? Against me? Look at you, you're so friend-shaped. Why would you want to have liberty from me? That is a silly, silly notion. So they said in the patch notes that they recalculated the amount of war score you get from stuff and how much you need for certain wars. I don't think this is one of those where they recalculated it. But that would be pretty cool if especially uh, fighting rebellions and stuff wouldn't be so punishing in, in terms of how long it takes to get rid of them. Ah yes, the Duchess, please. Come on in. 175 gold. It is appreciated. So we just joined this losing battle with our huge army. They are not our ally. But we're helping them win this war. Completely bashing the enemy. And they'll probably go this way again. Uh, no, okay, they're not going to go that way. They're going to go this way. We'll have to take care of our supplies here. Obotrita is under siege. This is something of ours. Where are the Italians? Where are the Permians? Okay, Perm is coming. I don't see the Italians anywhere. Silly Italians. We have discovered knighthood, which is probably darn good. Uh, let's check it out real quick, because I always forget what these mean. <laughs> Knight effectiveness plus 20%. That's insane. Accolade, glory gain, fine. Accolades available plus one. Oh, God, no. Fine. Oh, come on. Can't reactivate one. Can't find one for that. Okay, let's... Let's do the thing where we find people. Uh, where is it? Restore accolades. Let's go with that. Ideally, we want to use accolades that already have a rank of glory. And not start from zero. Okay. So this guy has joined as an acclaimed knight, but he's actually, he's actually not really good. Let's be quite honest here. Speed... Spi, 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 spi. Ah, okay, he already is one. So we can appoint him to this. And, well, we could create a new accolade. So, uh, let's see. You're pretty good at stuff. What are you good at? A disciplinarian and a thug. Dread gain paternity. That doesn't really help us much. Can only switch them around. So he's not great. Kazimir, what can you make? Oh, besieger. Interesting. Siege phase time minus 10%. An idealist. Cult, courtly, all the vassal opinions go up. The Knight of the Rose. Uh, this guy is not a knight. He's not serving as a knight. Krasomil is what we're looking for. Krasomil. Krasomil. It's down here. There he is. So let him become the Knight of the Violet. Lovely. Now we have another accolade there. And I bet we don't have a successor for this. No, of course we do not. But the more accolades we have, 
the higher the chance there's gonna be people who are kind of worthy successes, no? Oh, he's actually worth a success for this. Very good. I wish they would just go in there. Why do I have to do that manually? Uh, okay, this guy's not gonna matter. We'll catch them. Eventually, we'll have them. In the meantime, we'll just keep sieging. Ah, look at that. The Permians have arrived. Maybe they can help siege a little bit. Oh, no, we're ill. Um, what do you suggest? Come on, Chasna. Do no more than what is necessary. We're young and everything. And she has done excellent work. Perfect. We're fine. We're fine. We're ill, but we're fine. Can hold court, and so we shall. And our uh, pajamas, always, always good. Contractual compromise. I would be willing to overlook my grievances if you were to revise my contractual obligations to the crown. See sense, knavery will do you no good. You play a dangerous game, queen. What are your obligations? How can I see those? Doesn't matter to us. Your liberty faction will be disbanded. Fine. Our court grandeur suffers, but what can you do? You don't say. Please go on. Ah, let's let let the guy talk. Um, someone else will take care of the child. I don't care. I find that so funny. It's like, dear emperor, would you like to take care of this child? By the way, we're gonna do this inspiration because why not? Maybe we get a really cool armor out of it. <laughs> we won't know until we try. Let's split this army here. Uh, a bunch of times, honestly. To get these resupplied. Now we don't need to fear the German army anymore. Doesn't really matter where they go. Obviously, would be, I would be very happy if I could de... Like, if I could stand these down sensibly. Honestly, 10 months is not too bad. Let's go stand some of these down. We don't really need them anymore. He's gonna attack us there, but... That's not gonna work. He has really good troops compared to what we have there, but... It doesn't matter. Um... Let's see, a knight-related or a casualty-related artifact. What does this to currently do? Prowess, mainly. Which is big. Uh, let's go for our... Let's encourage our knights to greatness with it. Um, army damage plus 20%. Can stand this down. And... We'll stand this down. And this army can join up there. Or maybe siege here. They're not going to make any big progress, but they make some progress, potentially. So what I want to do, kind of, is want to raise our knights, because we now have this dude who is good at sieging stuff. So if we raise our men at arms... We'll take a while. I can't, we're, we're not going to do that, it's a little bit too close to everything. Might just lose him immediately, so I'd rather not. Could just put these up as a screen for the other army. Let's do that. I don't want to risk anything. Come on, move, boys. Uh, yeah. 50 gold. I'll invest in that. Okay. 
Okay, so this queen is now our friend. Honestly, let's check our vassals real quick. Is there anyone who needs to be our friend who isn't yet? This guy isn't. 100% chance is just... That is some sick, sick leverage we have. No longer ill. Very good. We have seized the Tarask Horn. Alright. What else do we have here? The Bremen Sword. Count Karl's Dagger. All these German artifacts that we got. Blunted Blade can go away. The Horn can go away. The Duchess's Helwig's Battle Axe. It's not terrible, but... That can go away. We'll take the money. The Franconian Sword. All these can go away. I'll, I'll be really surprised if we get a better armor than we already have. Okay, let's get these guys to sieging elsewhere. Wait, uh, this guy should maybe organize our army. Oh god, we lost so much money for no good reason. Something else can be sponsored. Very good. Yeah, let's give us that war banner. It's not really important to have it, but it's another thing we can destroy. What do you want to do? He wants to forge a brooch. Nah. Not for a decent skill. Go away. Ah, our spouse is keeping an impeccable household. Very good. It says that will ensure its quality. 50% uh, chance higher quality. Uh, 50% higher, 50% lower. Ah, let's try it. Doesn't really matter. Lower quality. Ah, Chasna, I believed in you. Why you betray me so? I really believed in you. This should have been easy, but you made it difficult. My heart bleeds. War score from held objectives, minus 24%. That's because he still holds a lot of this stuff. Not because he holds any of our lands, it's just because we haven't conquered everything that we are coming for yet. So let's speed this up a little bit. And do the thing that I wanted to do. So we move that here. And we'll just raise our men at arms. Because there should be that accolade knight in there. I could just positive progress on befriending that king. And a new diplomacy perk. Writing history. We can take the commission epic choice. Might want to do that. Actually, that is a lot of men at arms because we stood down way more than just our number of knights plus one. That's actually not bad. Um, let's check this out. So currently we get, yeah, I think our current, uh, our new one is better. Slovian La Melorama. Plus one knight. That is more than plus losing three prowess. So we'll equip it. And now we have another knight to fight on our end here. And since we have quite a few quite really good ones. That is pretty amazing. I mean our knight effectiveness is 155%. That's... <laughs> oh man. An extra knight? I'll take that. 
So we should have this guy. Siege phase charm minus 10%. Daily siege progress 10%. That's good. He's now in the siege army. Of course we're losing some more money, but I'll take it. So we're not going to replace this army. We're just going to siege around that army. Because this one is quicker anyway. So we'll let just this grow as long as it can. Without really mattering much to us. And we'll push around here. What are we being influenced on now, honestly? Divine right? No. Ah, the trebuchet. Why is there a trebuchet twice? Hoardings is also twice. What? Okay, that's definitely a bug. Well, we are exposed to trebuchets. Which is cool. We like trebuchets. We got an unpressed claim on the county of Nicopolis. Very good. Absolutely need that. Anything interesting here? Oh, some... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's a... That's a bunch, of du a bunch of dukes we caught here. I don't mind. We seize the fig- Oh! Wait, does that stack? Does that stack is the question. We already have this Baba Yaga thing. We could replace this thing here. While it's not bad, it doesn't give us a health boost. So let's remove this and put this in. So now we check. Yeah, that stacks. We get that twice now. That is kind of crazy. Crazy good, of course, but still kind of kind of crazy. Let's ransom everyone out. No child left behind. We are greedy, not monsters. There's a distinct difference. And another daughter to us. And another smart one. Let's have her go in intrigue. Give her a matrilineal match. No one else does it. Uh, relevance? No. Alliance power? Bavaria? Sure, we'll take it. Since it's matrilineal anyway. I'm not looking to attack Bavaria at the moment. Ooh, okay. This army definitely needs to go regroup. But there is some big German armies coming in. Uh, okay, we'll go here. Split that army. Like that. No, no, no. Everyone go. We need to... Restock and also dissuade our enemy from attacking us here. Okay, will our ally fight them and win? Big question. Big question mark. They scared them off. That much is certain. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, that wasn't everyone. Okay, there's a 5,000 men army that cannot make up its mind on what to do. Uh, 28, 40, that's enough. We, we need to fight those guys up there. So we'll put our army together. And march out. Come on. Go. I don't know why this takes so many clicks sometimes. It's really odd. Come on, let's get them. Yes, dear Count, please come in. Thank you for your generous contribution. Uh, no. Our goal remains the same. I don't care that they have a new king. Uh, but I don't like really how our war score has changed here. That's kind of uncool. Okay. Okay. 
So the siege army goes here. I gotta be a little bit careful now where I send anyone because I'm gonna be upset if I send the wrong army. Okay. And this army doesn't have the siege accolade guy, so... Let's see, which one is the siege accolade guy? Krasomil. Can we find him? Yeah, there he is. So we'll put him out. Send him singularly alone up there. And then we'll take these two armies. Oh, I think they're... Yeah, they're actually reinforcing there. But we'll still split it like that. Come on. Combine. Group. So these guys are just reinforcing here. Taking on supplies. Whereas these guys are sieging. And we can send these guys there. And these guys there. Though I don't think that's actually a siege. So we'll leave them here. Just in case the enemy shows up. Our friend. The Bazelius Zenobius died. Well. Looks like we need to make a new friend here. Should we go to the Grand Wedding as well? Can we? Oh, that's a Grand Tournament. We'll not arrive at time. Okay, fine. Why do I have a bit of Carpathia down there? Okay. Alright, our Marshal died. Is that really the best we have? Ah. Let's put in uh, King Sitbor of Polabia. He's not ideal, but the difference between 17 and 21 isn't large enough for me to make a rank-based decision rather than a value-based decision. So why is this so low? Still just because from held objectives. It's crazy. But we're working on it. We sure are working on it. A notable get up. Oh, yeah, I didn't look. That's down to me now. If we lose that battle. Ah, oh, come on. Will we arrive in time? Yeah. And our allies, luckily as well. Just didn't watch for a second. That's how quickly it can go. <laughs> the fresh king. Very good. Very good indeed. Okay. So that's taken care of. Do I need anything else over there? Honestly, let's see. A feline hunter. Oh, yeah, I want a cat. Lovely. This would be where I'll chat what to name the cat. But chat might not be willing to talk about that with me. So personally, I will have to just make a choice there, I think. And it will be... Gronk... Gronknar. Gronk... Not Gorna. Gronknar. Gronknar. What a great name. And no one is there to oppose me in that. I will just name it Gronknar. If you are watching this over on YouTube later after they upload, hey, what would you name your cat? Or what do you name your cat in Crusader Kings? Wait, there's still the spanner, right? Uh, court artifacts. Where is that silly banner? Tar de Venus de Saarbrücken banner. What do we have on the wall here? That's fine. What are you? Large wall. Nah. We're good. We're good. We're gonna destroy that. 
Renowned Heart Hide. It's just not as good as this thing. What can you do? Chazna is no longer an antiquarian. That's bad. We need a new one. Let's see. Thank you so much for your poem. Uh, our court physician. Man, she was so many things to us. Let's get that perk first. Dignitas. Diplomacy level per level of fame plus one. That's going to be big. Uh, level of fame impact plus 100%. Also big. Uh, I think our level of fame is already full. So let's go with that first. So it's basically this here. Exalted among men. Secular opinion. All of this is doubled. So we should have a whole bunch more knights now. Yup. That's kind of insane. Uh, ransoms. Ransom. Sure. Yes. Any other ransoms? No. Nope, that's them. Uh, court physician. We have a good court physician. A cowardly planner. Come on. Be our court physician. Now who will be our antiquarian? Also him. That's important because they do save your money. They cost you money, sure, but they also save you money. Repairing artifacts is insane at some point. Okay, we are friends with Bazelius. Always want to be friends with Bazelius. Oh, who are you? Why? Are we still the first in line up there? Yeah, we are. Silly stuff. How are you not getting a proper air, my dear cousin? I mean, I'm not going to say no to Finland, but that's going to be a tough hold. Let's see. Resplendent Raymonds for five years. Nah. Local fashions are fine. Uh, you can go back to improving our commanders. The boring, uninspired... Oh, look at all the... Okay, that's crazy. That is crazy. Romanga, which I think is... Where's Romanga? Where are you? That's Italy. That's a lot of Italy that's coming into our... Oh, I think Italy just splintered. Is that possible? Yeah, I think the Kingdom of Italy doesn't exist anymore. So they're all like, hey, we'd be happy to be your vassal. Kingdom of Italy doesn't exist no more. So we're bringing all these folk here in. Oh, no. Our f vassal and friend. She's dying. We'll stay by your side. All right. Let's check this out. Can we create the kingdom? Anointed kingdom of Romanga. Ah, the Pope has it. No, I don't want to observe that. Honestly? Kingdom of Italy. We can't create it. We don't have enough. It's down here. Can we do... Kingdom of Sicily? Nah. Eight out of nine. Um, okay. That's kind of crazy. Uh, let's go ahead. You definitely belong to Croatia. You don't belong to me, do you? Yeah. So... In the, in the past, you also weren't too great in that. Who do you belong to? Italy. Who do you belong to? Uh, Serbia. Okay, Serbia doesn't exist. We could create it, but it doesn't really matter. But that's a lot of Italians all of a sudden. And there's more Italians coming in. That's kind of crazy. Are we just absorbing Italy all of a sudden? I think we are. Lombardy. Okay, wait. <laughs> Did we just for nothing get the whole of Italy? Is that what just happened? 
Yep. That is absolutely what happened. What? So shouldn't there be someone of our dynasty somewhere here? Did we not have our blood in this land? Somewhere. Can I... Okay, it's going to be an interesting search. I've never tried this. So let's go... Uh, let's go for... Wait. Why, why is that... In, what? Why is X suddenly increasing the speed here? Wasn't that search once upon a time? Find a character. Okay, so... What we want to do now is we want to find someone who is dynasty ours who is region oh that's religion not region i can't read also just doesn't matter culture doesn't really matter well culture uh how do i find someone in italy now How do we do that? If we if we sort by can we sort by like culture? Relation. All. Inside diplomatic range. Ruler. Ruler. Well, they have to be landed. They don't necessarily have to be a ruler ruler. We just need someone over in Italy. Creation? No. I mean, these are... Okitan? No. Russo-Slovian? No, there's no one there. I don't think there's anyone in Italy. Of our bloodline. So we'll have to find a... Worthy king here. Oh, you're unmarried. And your primary is that dude. You are 30. Okay, that's not ideal. You are also unmarried. Let's go ahead. And... Let's see. One of our daughters. Her. Will you take matrilineal? No. With a grand wedding, maybe? No. So we'll go like that. And then we'll make him king. So we allied. So if we make him king of Italy. We are rid of all these various fools. And he's in a strong position. Corsica is its own little thing there. Yeah, okay. We just basically absorbed all of Italy. She's also coming in. Could usurp the anointed kingdom of Romanga? I don't think we want to do that. And... We grant you this vassal. And it's only really that one a little holdout over there. That is insane. We can demand a hostage from the Bazelius. Well, it doesn't really matter to me. Let's befriend the Pope. It's funny, you can't barely sway that man, but friend? No problem. Pope will be your friend. Pope will be your best friend. 
We'll upgrade always when we have the money. That's just how it goes. Not even a question, just got the money, let's go. That is silly. And if we're lucky, the Byzantines are going to lose a little bit over here. But I think they'll call us in before that happens. Let's see, are there any factions against us? Nope. But we're also not friends with everyone yet. The Malachians are, are difficult to make friends with. We know that with a certainty. I think we have the greatest extent of the empire yet. But the Byzantine Empire is also no, no small thing. Let's see. Uh nah, we'll relax instead. We don't we don't need to push that. So unite the West Slavs. What do we need for that? West Slavia. Okay, it's Still, a tiny bit of Germany is missing for us this year. That's also for the Slavs here. Oh, actually, no. Interesting. It's just a tiny bit of Bavaria. A whole chunk of the Byzantines in many, many directions. But we could that. We could get this already. So we could attack this guy for all our du jour lands. I mean, he has nothing. I think we'll just take it. Why not? Let's slow it down, though. And only our retinue will do just fine. We'll go here. I still keep them retinue. I, I still call them retinue. It's funny. I haven't played Crusader Kings 2 in, I don't know, four or five years. And I cannot shake that these guys are now men at arms. They're still retinue to me, but they are not. Our friend died. That means there's a new friend to be had. Who inherited your lands? What? Who's the new king or queen? you. Uh, let's start swaying her at least. Oh wait, you don't have a... You are unmarried. Our cousin and food taster. She'll accept. It's, uh, it's in the family. Do that. So the further away from where your troops actually are, you raise them, the longer it takes for them to come out and deploy. Oh, our cat is comforting us. And you know what? Nope. You know what? We're gonna go pet the cat. Let's go pet Gronknar. And let us be notified once we can pet Gronknar. Got some stress release from that. Should we commission an epic? 450 gold is not nothing, but I think we'll do that. Let's organize the army. And what do you want? An exceptional epic for 900 gold. High chance. Sure. Let's spend some money. We're not getting any younger. But we're pretty good. Rat hunting cat, strong, adorned Baba Yaga figure, ornamented dragon figurine, attentive care from our spouse, and exotic food only against penalties, but we're good there. I will gain claims on neighboring titles once it's done. No, I will gain more renown when the epic is done. It is a family history, so be generous. We have written nothing but family histories. So what are we looking at? Still 1,400 soldiers. All good. I don't mind. We can speed this up a bit. Petty Kingdom of Lancaster. That is still completely silly. Oh, they're so close. Can we have another sway scheme? No, 
Now it would uh, stop defending the Pope. But if we sway them, they're just gonna be a common vassal as well. We gained the nickname with the trees. Wow. Do you love my hair so, my sweetness? Perhaps you should carry it with you always as you go about your duties as emperor, so then everyone will see you and I are one. I thought at first he was joking, but it will quickly become apparent that she truly intends me to wear her hair as an accessory for all to see. Why does that get with the trees? But we become loyal and she becomes loyal. Our liege opinion doesn't matter, but I will wear it until I die. We are known as with the tress, not with the trees. What is a tress? I gotta go look that up. What is a tress? What does that mean? Tress. Okay. It is... A section or curl of someone's long hair. Alright. On completion, we will receive a family epic book artifact which improves our combat advantage. Yeah. Sure, why not? Okay, our enemy is sieging our lands. Brave. Foolish, but brave. I thought that was two counties, but it really isn't. Well, live and learn. I wish it would tell me what type of artifact right there. Adventure inspiration to Northern Europe. Sure. Let's go. We'll sponsor everyone. The church is generally paying, so that's fine. Made a nice prison up there. Let's see. Yep, 100 gold. 30 gold. We'll take all that. Unpressed claim? No, I don't care. Rodislav will surely want to formalize the grant. Yeah. Pay me more money, fool. Okay, so we killed his troops. Let's just march on his capital. Since... Yeah, we're fine. We have... We're not going to lose anything to attrition. That's very good. And... We have friends with the Pope. Good stuff, meaning money rolling in like crazy from here on out. Who else do we need to befriend? Let's check our vassals because I'm sure there's people who are not our friends yet. This guy here, he needs a friendship. More than anything in the world, he needs to have a friend. Always the Valachians, always so angry. Inspiration funded. Bring me something from an exotic animal. A tapestry. We'll trust his instincts. A trinket. Artwork. Let's go with the artwork. Maybe he finds us some small thing to hang on the wall. Thank you, my dear friend and Pope, that you give me that money that I asked you for. I will surely invest it wisely. What? Our Empress is pregnant once again. I mean, she, she's young, still. Seven children. Look at that. Very well, perhaps a break is in order. Increased chance of producing an exceptional epic. Absolutely, let's go. We'll support the writer's strike. And also, the church paid for it. A faction? Against me? Against I? No. Okay. Good on you for learning my language. I appreciate it. Well done. The Smolniki Chronicon. Okay. Is that good? Or is that not good? Let's destroy that. Give us some money. Oh, it's a court artifact. Alright. Let's check that out. Uh, 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 um. A small Nikki's saga.
Ah, that's not great. That was a lot of money for very nothing. Shame. Ah, well. Could have been good. Certainly wasn't worth the money. Uh, fine, we'll restore... God, the accolade thing is getting on my nerves so much. But it's also such a detriment not to use it. You know, you're just you're just not helping yourself if you don't use it. And I uh... It's not that they didn't think about it properly. It's just what they came up with is just not good. All right. Some more diplomacy in our life. And we siege this well. Go siege some more stuff. Our troops are looking real flesh. Real cool. Let's hold some court, shall we? You are right. King Yakov must convert. Okay, they might continue. All faith are welcome. Nah, they must convert. He refuses to convert. Oh well. What can we do? Let's offer the queen some advice on managing her realm. I'm not giving her money. The status of Italy shall not be doubted again. Palatinate. Less troops, less money. But we get plus 5% prestige. Why would you ever want to do that? If Italy's borders are never altered. Is it not enough to be a king? Come on now. I made you from nothing. Let's not be ungrateful, please. Daughters learn... A daughter learns language. Alright. Sure. Why not? How's our eldest doing, anyway? 15. Not so great, I would say. Time to hit the books. Bah. I'm not going to learn a language. I'm too old for that kind of stuff. Um, okay, so he was going through the pubs. The adventure continues. He, he, he pulls himself together. Very good. Let's find you a, a man. A matrilineal man. Alliance power with the kingdom of Italy. King of Frisia. Hmm. King of Permia. I mean, it shouldn't. Now we, we need to go a little bit. Age difference shouldn't be more than five. That's important. She'll need to start having children soon. So now let's see if we can't get some inheritable traits as well. I mean, she is intelligent, so might as well. Oh, very good. Our our genius cousin in the county of Gamer. Uh, that might... Will that lead to problems? We could get the Herculean lad here. City of Skrapar. Yeah, let's give, give, give her that lad. Good man. Our daughter is sadly obese. Uh, keep laying low, they will move on eventually. No guts, no glory. Orthon boils and cleans Noswonwa's skull and sends it to you for use as a court artifact. Okay. Let's try this. 
he sends us his skull as a court artifact. Okay, she is no longer a child. What is she? She's an astute intellectual. I like that. That's good. Gronknar is interrupting some issues. Something with our wife there. Uh, shall we make it a grand wedding? Come on, let's. She's our firstborn daughter and our heir. Slovian culture has embraced the loyal subjects tradition. Yes, there we go. So let's plan the grand wedding. What a good day. Grand wedding and it will be in Krakow, of course. And yeah, we'll go with all that. Our intent will be matchmaking, diplomacy. Who do we want to diplomacy with? Her. We'll start a befriend scheme against her as well. And let's start that thing. Our, our court per, per is dead. Take this gold, make sure her now. I'm not giving you money to be my friend. What's going on over here? We're missing out the war. Greetings, Milkshake. Welcome back. How are you doing? I hope I didn't miss that. Just there. I forgot to turn on my sounds for that. Ah, very good. We caught the right man in this. So we can be done with our little war in the northern regions. So now we only really have to fight the Byzantines eventually. How is your war going anyway? It's stuck. You've been at minus 2% for three years now. That's kind of silly. Well, you're only allied with Croatia. We become the owner of Palaces of the Beavers. Uh, could give it to our daughter. Let's give it to our daughter. I don't need that. Wait. The guy we're marrying her to? Formidable Banneret. What is that? Vladislav led troops and fought bandits even before his majority battle hardened into determined uh, combatant. Okay, cool. So that's our our daughter's upcoming heir, uh, husband. Grand wedding is uh, waiting to start. We're not going to go to war while we are having the grand wedding of our daughter. We can repay, we can pay the ransom for one of our vassals. Well, we cannot because he doesn't want to do that. Well, what am I supposed to do? I can't force the man. You got absolutely destroyed as Flanders by your own family again. I, t I mean... It's, you can't be too friendly with them. We tried to tell you. But I appreciate that you try. I appreciate that you try. Which, um, which focus, which lifestyle did you go with? I hope you'll enjoy the ceremony. I can still savage the situation. I sure can. 99% to get this right. We defuse the situation as well we should. Okay. Well, if you really want to go with uh, family above all, family is everyone our friend. I want to make everyone in the family happy. I don't think you have much of a choice but going the diplomacy route and then going into the fi family hierarchy. Uh, the bonuses you get out of this are, I think, almost impossible to skip 
if you want to have a large family and have family people rule stuff because with the claims they get they'll always kind of hate you for not having what you have and wanting what you have you know We are closer than ever. We finally befriended that queen there. And we got our August now, which gives us plus two diplomacy, plus one martial, and extra prestige. Which I don't necessarily need, but, uh, you know, we'll take it. What about that? Yeah, it's... It's difficult. It's very difficult. Either have a small family or go for family-focused stuff, basically. That's really... All you can do. We could become a confider. Let's do that. Let's let's talk somewhere properly. We approach Blazna. How do I know I can trust him? Uh, sure. So what's your next, uh, what's your next mission? Another Flanders run? Trying again? Uh, cr uh closer to a friendship with King Yakov. I don't need to friendship with the Bazelios. We already have that. I really enjoy Abdullah's company. Who the hell are you? Sure, I'll take all the friends I can get. I don't care. Currently playing The Sims while thinking if you should retry. Well, I can't tell you, sadly. I didn't see what happened. But I usually get blindsided by the intrigue side of things as well, when people kind of go and get mad and stuff, you know? So. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. At this point, right, we're close to death, I think. Well, not close. Let's take that interesting conversation. And it's time for the bedding ceremony. More ale. More. I don't want to become a drunkard, but only 1% chance. Come on now. We'll take that. Yeah. Yeah, that's what family does. Especially in medieval times. They just came for their claims. Every time and always. Not sure what to tell ya. Trust me, it's a good match. Sure. How many friends do we have? Okay, so... Plus eight. So this is... Thank you all for coming. We actually got some money back, which was kind of cool. And now we have finished that grand wedding. That's our friends. <laughs> that is uh, a lot of friends. King of Italy needs to be our friend. I've decided. I mean, the friend thing is also super powerful. Really, 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 really crazy powerful. Friends are almost guaranteed to not do anything against you. Not claim their stuff. Not anything like that, so, you know, you might want to consider that as well. I mean, every place that I think is viable in this game, but, but, you know, 
There's always a but. How do you have 20,000 troops from what? It's crazy. Can we build something? Sadly, no. But we're working on it. We just got loyal subjects, which I am very happy with, honestly. The loyal trade is more common. Opinion of liege plus 10. That's what you want as an emperor. Popular opinion plus 5. Nice. My dear Count, thank you for joining us here. Where are we at here with the dynasty? We're very close to our next thing. I think we'll go here. Chance for reinforcing congenital trades plus 30%. Very perceptive of you. Uh, let's check our succession, how it looks at the moment. I love it. There's so many children, but only one heir. Because we have nothing that could be inherited. <laughs> Just nothing. All right. Julian becomes a tough soldier. Very good. Prince Julian, a godless adventurer. Let's get you a wife, shall we? Uh, you are intelligent, so we'll get you an intelligent girl. Swedish band of Vermeland. That doesn't help us, but that's fine. Excellent. It's beautiful. The empire, the kingdom, the duchy, the counties, all our little baronies in the county. Uh, what's in the throne? What do you want? Proposed deal. Pet cat. No, I don't. How how dare you? I would never sell Gronkna. They were your vassals. Oh, I think I read something in the in the patch notes as well that that might actually be a more regular occurrence now. But I'm not quite sure. I might be wrong. I might misremember this. Um, I'm sure that Torkan, I'm, I'm sure that Torkan would approve. So we could sleep with this lady. But no, we have a soulmate and a friend in our wife, so pull yourself together, girl. Really. <gasps> there we go. What do we do? I think we'll go with Convergent Blood, honestly. Go through the bloodline. That's what he built. That's what he tried to have. It might go with the kin uh, tradition as well. Might help you. Look at that. We have a little cute bug where we have twice the trebuchets and twice the hoardings. <laughs> ah, boy. I mean, your vassals, honestly, they are quite... Oh. Oh. Okay. I did not expect that. We didn't pay a lot for that. Thanks. Uh, let's put that in our courtroom. I think family is is, is a underappreciated danger <laughs> in this world and others. So plus 0 0.2 renown, that's pretty big. Uh, plus 1 knight. Prestige and Renown. I think we'll replace this here. With that. We get slightly more Renown. Mercenary higher cost goes down. But we lose a lot of Prestige. Huh. It's actually not that good. I 
I mean, this gives plus one knight. That's kind of crazy, but I think we'll replace that. I'd rather have the Renown. And it has been a time since we fought Valachia. So it, I think it's fine. Oh yeah, we got that skull. I forgot. Um, prestige, dread gain, natural dread plus six. Okay. Now oh, this is better. <laughs> this is also better. This is definitely better. This is also much better. Sad. We have so so many cool things. And so little room. I wish we could expand that a little bit. Like, that's kind of crazy. Why do we have only so few slots? Uh, oh yeah, we'll, we'll flatter her. Wait, I don't need to sway her anyway. She's our friend, isn't she? Yeah, she is. Friendship is also the craziest thing for uh, getting people to really like you, you know? And if you if if you if you have succession, well, the people are gonna be crazy about you still. Closer to friendship, it's not cool. Actually, I see something right now. Let let me move chat down a little bit, like so. Our royal court is down, one level. Ah oh, well, where's our whole? Okay, we're just due to events. We went down. Nothing we can do right now. But wait. So I'm still considering going for Unite the Slavs. So we'll have to take a chunk out of Bavaria and a chunk out of the Byzantines. That's really our main problem here. I mean, Bavaria isn't that much of an issue. They are our ally after all. But taking something out of the Byzantines? Oh. We'd get a bunch here. I don't actually know exactly what we would get. What would we get? My claims. Like, that's not a lot. Seize the your duchy. Novosil, that's up there. And the duchy of Sicily down there. Okay. So we need a big chunk down here. What is that chunk? This duchy. The kingdom. Which we could create. That would give us some more stuff. Let's create that kingdom. The Serbian kingdom. And let's make this duke the king of the Serbs. Uh, there. So now we have Serbia down there. And that's all claims in there already. But we need more. We need all of this down there, which is kind of... I don't know if we... So we have this Nicopolis claim there. Kingdom of Bulgaria. I have one county there. But I think that's really what we need. Or one of those duchies here. Let's see. No, not the kingdom. Wait. Uh, Serbia. Slavia. Empire of Slavia. Now we have to. T I think that's full of. We need to take all of Bulgaria from them. 
which is kind of insane. Restore the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, you must control at least three kingdom titles. Wait, I could do that at the moment? Are you kidding me? I mean, I've done it before, but... Really? Should we do that? Princely elective succession. We will gain equal succession, which we already have. Get the Holy Roman Empire title. <sighs> Alright, we have Italy. That's why we can do it. Okay. Um, no, I don't, I don't kind of want to do that. Not once we have a succession type where everyone, every title goes to one specific child. Right now it would still be split. If there's two empires, it would still be split. Uh, split. We don't want that. Plus succession on this thing will already be kind of a horrible thing. I wish this would highlight better. Oh no, I am princess what? Smallpox, oh boy. Let's do some drastic measures. Greatly reduced her symptoms. Poor lady. She has given us so, so many children. She deserves to live. No fighting in the family. Stop it. We are both acting like petulant children. We'll do that. Yep. And they're happy with my choice that they are both petulant children. <laughs> I don't like thoughtful. 100% impact from gifts. It's just gifts are completely unreasonably priced. What do you want to make? Metal Smith. Wants to forge a crown. Sure. Let's go do that. Maybe something good comes out of it. We have a good crown, but could always be better, couldn't it? Truly lovely. Thank you for your poem. We're not befriending anyone. That's a big oversight. Let's try befriending this guy again. Okay, we can't. We're kind of blocked from that. Uh, this guy is not a friend yet. It's a problem. Uh, can't. Can't befriend him. Can we try him again? No. Let's try that guy. We want more friends. Ah, our empress has survived the smallpox and we can ask the church for some more money. Thank you, I will use it wisely. It's highlighted there, it's highlighted there. It's just not enough. Can we create some claims up here? We already have claims up here. We should anyway. Duchy of Novosil. Can't create it. We don't have enough. Should we go to the hunt? No. I don't feel it. But we could have our own hunt. I've never really gone through these because it's always so expensive. To get these up. They're good, but... Mm hmm. Sure, have money. 
Uh, it's just the cat. Pull yourself together. I'm not giving you 450 gold for some discomfort there. Are you crazy? Okay, we have a strong vassal who is the most competent as well. That is such a rare sighting. He gets the job instantaneously. Not even going to think about that. So we're still increasing our development at home. Which is pretty high already. It's going up, up, up the lickety split. I like the visual difference. Like this one here is 4th level 8. And this one here is 4th level uh, 20. <laughs> Look at what a chonker of a keep that thing is. Whereas, well, our home isn't so much. What an absolute beast. But the fun thing is, they have to take all of these to take the whole county. So, they have to fight through all of these. And we get from just our own lands uh, around 5,000 troops in levies. And then our... Um, what's this here? Oh, we could have even more. We should have more. Well, that's a lot we can have. I wanted to have another uh, armored horseman. That's what I wanted. Well, not another, but I wanted to have armored horsemen. So let's go get us a regiment of those. And put them up to level 5 as well. Which is expensive as heck, but we can't fall behind. Can we station them anywhere? Okay. So here would be crazy. Which is where we currently have our light horsemen. That's fine. And our light horsemen can go... Yeah, well... Now it becomes a bit of a problem because we don't have anywhere to station them anymore. But that's fine. They don't need to be stationed anywhere. Let's see. Diplomacy, lifestyle, experience, arm. I don't want to murder scheme. What's this? Trimming the dynasty. She's an utter disappointment. Why? Oh, she's a little bit inbred. Okay, come on. Let's try and make something out of her. I did what I could. Stewardship goes up by three. Come on now. See? She's not so bad anymore. I'm not going to kill her just because she's a little bit daft. Okay, now watch our money here go away into uh, the heavy, heavy knights here. But look at that damage. 155 and 31 toughness. That is just incredible. 150 renown. Yeah, sure. That sounds lovely. Put in the family's motto. I mean, do we need them? I, I thought... I think I'm used about replacing them. But why not have them both? Can afford it. Cisalpine to Serbian. Very good. We'll take that. Um, gold early. Uh, gold early is a big problem. Uh, depends. If you're Catholic, try the Pope. It's your best best choice. Flans crown. Is that better? Apart from that, uh, join wars of your liege, for example. Siege some stuff. That can help. It doesn't always, but it can. If you can raid with your culture or religion, definitely raid. That's the best thing you can do. Uh, sieging and fighting battles is the second best thing because you might get um, artifacts. You might get pres uh, the prisoners. And something that we also have, if you have artifacts that are gray or green, you can destroy them. And a gray one gives you 40 gold and a green one gives you 80 gold. That's a huge bit of income. Um, so if you have if you have artifacts that you don't want or like, uh, definitely do that. So plus one stewardship per stress. Uh, master limit plus 10. All right. Nah, monthly renown plus 2% is already better. So this thing here was... Uh, 
done for nothing. We could reforge it into a pedestal item, but we're not going to use that either. So, well, didn't waste too much money. So I think by now, uh, artifacts is actually like the best thing you can do, really. Annoying company. <sighs> yeah, I'm definitely overreacting to someone dissing us. What do I care? All right. Our kids are marrying. Very good. Prisoners to ransom. Yeah, see, prisoners can quickly give you a lot of money early on. I mean, right now, 10 gold is nothing, but 10 gold early. And the next best thing you can do is build out your county, uh, your, your main county. Just build up the barony you have, build things that give you money. Especially the pasture ones are really pretty good. Can't, well, you can go wrong, but you can't go all that wrong. So lots of gold is kind of relative. But I strongly suggest. Let's pet our cat. Yes. Always want to pet the cat. I think these are all the ways you can do uh, money getting early on. You're never going to have a lot. Not early. Money will always be a problem early on. But I think you generally end up having the appropriate amount. You don't really need thousands of gold. That comes later, as you grow into it. The Duke Ingvar. I appreciate you as a vassal. Oh no, King Alexander. Was he our best friend? Yeah, he was. I need to be strong and move forward. Ongoing heartache for 30 years. Stress gain plus 20%. Let's read this because this is a severe loss. There's a deep and endless hole in my heart. Alexander was a constant companion and confidant. And to have him ripped from my life feels like a mortal wound from which I will never recover. My hand clasps a note he gave me. The last note he ever gave me. I realize bitterly. I try to read it, but all I can do is move it away from my face. That the precious words contained within it are not washed away by my tears. Though there is a crowd of many mourners around me, I've never felt so alone. I need to be strong and move forward. Let's see. Can our wife become our best friend now? Uh, demand conversion. Come on. Be Catholic now. <laughs> you have been around long enough. You know how this works. Go get Catholic Catholicism into your brain. Let's see. Can we get something cool matrilineally? Some more outside rulership. Duchy of Anjou. Sure. Let's go. Need to spread the bloodline beyond the borders. You. Kingdom of West Francia. We'll take that. Where are you? Come to court, you fool. Excellent. Why are you not at my court? Okay, you can't really marry big. So let's marry you well. Uh, someone who's robust? I think. Robust and 16? Perfect. Might at least give us some uh, good... Good bits and pieces there. Spymaster. He's our friend and a powerful vassal. And he's good at it. Look at that. Then again, who isn't our friend? We'll take the challenge to the board game. And we will go with the learning tree. And we'll stick to the learning tree as a challenge. Good game. GG.
I won't be mean about winning. Oh, the Pope would like to give us money again. See, like, I, I only have money because of the church. I befriend the Pope and just keep asking him. And he keeps giving because the church is truly, truly charitable. You'd never know it by looking at it. Fellow vassal opinion. Ah, uh, who cares? I have no fellow vassals beside the Pope. We are both vassals of God. Title creation costs minus 20%. Fine. Might want to create more titles. Let's check all the titles we can create. Kingdom of Galicia, Bologna. I mean, maybe. Why not? 200 gold. Let's do it. And let's... See, this guy is of our dynasty. He's an offshoot, but he can have it. Let's have this. There you go. <laughs> uh, what else? What what other tiles can we create? The Baltic Empire. I never created that. What's the extent of it? Oh, it does go down here. Huh. West Slavia we could create. That does not unite the West Slavs, though, sadly. Some duchies, the Empire of Russia, the Empire of Italia. <laughs> Man, I sure would love to create all those Empire titles, but it's not, not sensible yet. I'm sorry, my dear wife. I love you, but you have to live with the cat. Cat is more important than you. No, I wanted to go... Where did I want to go? There. Unite the West Slavs, like, I think. We're missing a chunk of Germany there, yeah. I don't think we actually have any claim on this. I don't care. What happened here? A secret exposed? I don't care. Duchy of Turingia. Nah, we have nothing on that. We could try to get something on it. But these are his sons, so they're not gonna come. What we could do, what we haven't done in a while. Uh, let's go and try and get a claim here for Turingen. Claim on Duchy. Potential. Let's go there. Let's do that. And we can bonk the Germans to get Thüringen in here. And then we could unite the West Slavs. Which again is not a great idea. Because that would split us. Equally meaning if we have two Empire titles, the children will get them. They're no longer created, but we need Primogeniture before any... Or rather, Ultimogeniture, which I strongly prefer. Before we go there. Another inspiration to be sponsored. What this time? A book. A magnificent book. Let's go. Our wife is truly the stuff of legends, not me. Right about our dynasty. That, that's that's the biggest thing here, anyway. What's going on here? A foul smell? I don't care. Uh, let's hope we lose only a small amount of money. Very good. Loot ourselves with some money to fix the problems in court. I love the knight over there. Standing ready. And our cousin, steward and friend there. Talking into our ear. First petitioner, please. Yes. Come in. Judgment is reserved for God alone.
Okay. Let me show you the word of St. Catherine, huh? Come on, convert. Carpathia is a land of many people. Understand that. What do you guys want? Want to give me a knight? This guy here. What are you to me? Just a member of my dynasty. Um... Fine, we'll take him as a knight. Not as our bodyguard, I can't afford that. It's a big, big, tough expense we, we can't do. Okay, what else do we have? That's really it. I think. Time to hit the books. No. Slovian is superior. I'm not going to start learning any culture. Are you kidding me? Such a silly idea. Let's keep going. Another court speaks high German as we do. Very well. Let's hope we get that Turingian claim. It's something I never thought I would want. But so it is. How long will you be alive, lad? Are we pretty much the same age? Oh, he's younger than me. Who Who is it? How does succession look here? Okay, so either we get it or that guy gets it. I'm not going to become a killer at the end of my life here. Either we get it or we don't. Our sister died, oh no. Okay, sure. It's I who am a sir, no problem. And earning quite enough as I would, but. Learning challenge, learning challenge, learning challenge. We'd love to play again. And he agrees it was a good game. So I'm thinking, honestly, at this point... We have the greatest extent of Carpathia, kinda. Oh, we've become friends. Very good. We've seen how to play the various lifestyles. I think I want to play it through to the end. I don't have any specific goals in mind or anything, but, you know, just keep pushing forward to see how far you can get starting as a count and that you can finish the game with the instructions that I give throughout playing this. And despite all the little horrors that we experience as we work our way through all of that, Okay, so the Byzantines have finished their little internal strife. Another inspiration. You want to do a crown. I don't. I don't mind. Let's go. We'll sponsor everyone. Let's see. Where are we at? Oh, that is nice. 11 months. It's very nice. Uh, it will ensure the quality. Come on, Boromir. Ugh. Why do my antiquarians always fail to help in this? Castle, Baileys, come on now. Let's have it. Okay. Slavo and Jakob. Sure, dedicated to those two vassals there. A vassal of ours was prisoner. Is prisoner. Ah, oh, well.
King Ruslan is free again. All right, good. Ah, uh, nice. Our little cat is giving us a huge health boost because we are rat-free at home in Krakow. A granddaughter. Oh, look at her. Robust and a genius. She is amazing. She goes into learning lifestyle. Let's educate her. Someone, someone good at that. I mean, we're good at that, but we don't have a good trait in it. Maybe our cousin can do that. Are you having children? Uh. I would like my grandson in court. He is the future Bazelius. Let's turn him into... What are you good at? Uh, intrigue. Now let's push you towards stewardship. That's a little bit more. Uh, who's your guardian? I don't know. Remove that guardian. Let's give you a better one. Me? I? Should I be guardian? No. This guy here can do the thing. Very good. I will match your funding. Sure. Lose a little bit of money. Get some progress toward the thing. So where are we progress-wise here? Far, far away. I dare not click on this. Might crash the game. <laughs> I am impressed. Eh. It's not great. I mean, that's a crazy big tree. Sure, you can have some more money as well. We're not we're not befriending anyone. What's that? That is, that is a gross oversight. We should be friending everyone. I like that everyone. Either is our friend or scared of us. Some, like, Valachia, they are built different. The Valachs, they are just, they don't need to be our friend. They don't need to be scared. They like us well enough, but... They're above such petty things. Alright... Our counselor died. Huh? Alright, we have a new patriarch. That's what it's done. Uh, no, I don't want a single claim there, please. Oh god, he's terrible. Oh, well, let's say he's not good. <sighs> Attempt to rectify our heir's flaws. What the heck do you have? Gout ridden. Are you kidding me? Come on, let's help her overcome her flaws. I fear that is a deeply set but truly eye-opening experience might make her realize the folly of her ways. What should we do? Venture into the streets and talk to the poor. Own up to a misdeed and make the right again. Give away possession to those in need. We'll go with that. Or she can hold court for instead of us. Nah, let's let's talk to the poor with her. Why are you gout ridden? I will give Chisney another chance, and perhaps I should change my method. Okay. She seemed to learn nothing from the exercise. Give away possessions to those in need. Let's try that. New diplomacy perk, forced vassalage. You're able to use the forced vassalage station castle's belly, which is kind of nice, but I will we'll take it. Ah, oh, 
Woohoo! Yes. Loses the trait gladness. Might become fickle, humble, or trusting. <laughs> I can't go around and just ask people why they're gout ridden. Where are raised in a Listen. You know who was raised in a barn? Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for our sins. And we have fought wars for that man. Well, that's fine. I know the Bethlehem story is really only to get him into the whole uh, King David succession line. But that doesn't matter. You know who we think was raised in a barn? Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um... Well, he wasn't even born in a barn either. That's just literally, like, that story is exactly for one reason. To get his birthplace to Bethlehem. So uh, they could argue that he was um, he was uh, in the line of King, King David. That's all. So, yeah, it, it's, it's fine. You're right, you're right, you're right. It's a little bit indelicate of me to ask why someone is gout-ridden. I agree. Oh, men at arms maintenance minus six percent. Hello, ho ho. Uh, okay, there's many things happening right now, so let's slow the game real nicely down and let's go. First things first, we just discovered Bailey's, meaning everything will be spent. All the money goes into everything. Uh, taking what gives us money first. So this here gives us holding taxes plus twenty percent, which is well plus extra four. That's big. Uh, this doesn't give us money, so let's check if we can get something that gives us money first. This gives us money. Not a lot, but also increases our heavy cavalry, which is stationed here, and it's crazy good. And here we'll just go one. It doesn't cost much, so... But, and we need to pick a new fascination. And I think we'll go with a trebuchet. Uh, because to get to late medieval... We are 40 years away, and we're missing three medieval era things. So if we go for the one that is also being influenced by exposure, those go really, really quickly. So in three years, we get the next one that by, by, with trebuchets. I've also stopped asking why she's gout, gouty, <laughs> gouty. Can't I send you to like a, like a doctor? I can challenge you to a board game. A wager game? Oh, we'll just do a friendly game. Our grandson is a gambler. Alright. Somewhat bold. Okay, then. Let's keep going, shall we? Oh, we got... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the crown, yeah? The renowned the domain tax. Oh, that's also good. But men at arms maintenance minus six percent. I think is going to be much bigger. So let's check this. Right, we're, we're earning plus four right now. Let's switch it. Yeah, that's just the men at arms maintenance. That's a plus zero five right there. So that's the better crown. Finally, we have a better crown. <laughs> um. So we'll just. Go with a learning challenge. She might still win. Yeah, she won. Well, the better woman won. Absolutely did. Our daughter bested us. As well as she should. She is she is intelligent, if nothing else. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. I don't want them to have a weak hook on us. I don't care. I don't care for that. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. This guy. The church finally paying its fair share? Yes. Looks like it. 
Seek indulgences. Are we crazy? Let's go learn a la- Oh, darn. Who was I trying to befriend? The Pope, I think. Uh, Oops. I wasn't aware that would change it out. Oh, man. Uh, Okay, he gets a good opinion. It was very good. Uh, befriend. Befriend. I'm so sorry. I want to stop befriending the Pope. Well, we'll start over. My fault. How's our court looking? Everyone loves us. How's our succession looking? Eh, not everyone loves her. That's not ideal. What card artifact did we get? Small Necky Chronicles. I think we might put that up instead of the romance. I think we will. So we'll put the Small Necky Chronicles up instead. Because that gives us Renown. And Renown is super. I love me some Renown. So let's put that here. Wow, okay, that's a chonker of a book. I don't care so much about the lifestyle experience we get from it, but... It's pretty good. Um, let's gift this guy. Give artifact. I want to give you the Valachian War Banner. Uh... Okay, I uh, uh, there. This I want to give you. Sure, we will release that guy from prison. I don't care. These accusations are not about malice and lies. I will not stand for something like that. So we're giving it back to him because it's of his people. It was taken by us hundreds of years ago. Doesn't matter anymore. Let's give it to him. You want this commander to join me. He's not great. My army is not a nursery. He's not good. He's not gonna grow good. So I'm sorry. You have to just live with it. Yes, the king. Please send him forward. Why does a king give us only seven rena uh, 75 renown when he comes visit? That is... Um, Sad. That is not interesting. Very low. Oh, come on. She's no trouble. She can stay. Little Grokna. Come on. Stay in the council chamber. And let's go fishing with our wife. Not our wife. With our daughter. We caught a giant fish. Our daughter's pleased. Like, can she get rid of this? Is the question. She's trusting, just, and ambitious. She's several good things. Her son, well, he's trying. I don't like this. This is this is not great. It used to be better. So what the what would we need this for? Rulers can designate their heir. I mean, absolute crown authority. That you can bet yourself on is gonna lead to a war. Right on succession. Everyone's gonna hate that. Every single one. <laughs> That's already too high for my comfort. But that Yeah, that's how you that's how you die. Cupid's arrow, don't give a Pope Ratomir. I will help you. Uh the insane villain. Now, come on, you you can do it, but you can do it on your own, please.
All right. Yes, we must stop the villain behind that plot and we'll never think about this again after this message disappears. But we took it seriously for about two seconds. Seven months left. Oh my, you are truly, truly something, aren't you? Snake at court. Someone called our daughter an adulteress. Can't have something like that. Child benefits from spouse's tutelage. Well done, my dear wife. Let's go to that wedding, shall we? Just because we can. Oh my. That's a long trip and quite dangerous. Let's go. Let's hurry. I can't wait. We'll see what happens. We are brave after all, you know. Look at that. Us being brave. Out there. Our daughter. Taking the regency. Mm, let's have a nice meal. Oh, that wasn't a nice meal. Uh. We are closer than ever. Befriending the Pope. Look at that. He's our friend. Can't we ask our friends to become best friends? Like, wasn't that the thing? No, I'm not interested. Go away. Let's heave the wagon off the ground because we are strong. Our glory is wildly known. We are a living legend. So how many nights do we have now? 18. <laughs> What's this? A granddaughter. Uh, a decent one. Diplomacy focus. And let's get you somewhere. Outside the family. Maybe. You have claim on the kingdom of Vladimir. That's inside the realm Duchy of Östergotland. Sure. Let's go. Okay, a lot of stuff was just constructed at home. Meaning we can construct some more stuff. Good god, our cavalry will be absolutely horrendous to face in the field. Men at arms maintenance minus extra 2%. We'll take that in a heartbeat. Passive income. That is what passive income is. Reducing your outflow. <sighs> nah, we don't care about that. Where are we? Oh, we're not even halfway there. And we're walking through a combat zone. What are you fighting? War against the tyranny of King Stibo. Well, looks like you're winning. So good on you. And onto the ship we go. That is a very, very slow ship. Uh, Mayor Ivan paid 450 to us to give her more power. This caused 10 strife with us and vassals. Yes, all of Turingia will be mine. Yeah, thanks. That's what we wanted. Can't declare war. Oh, but he's so nice and weak right now. Well, not really, but Weaker. I'm so looking forward to the first empress on the throne. It's something I always try to achieve. Get some, get some nice uh, equality in here, in medieval Europe. Oh, oh, oh! Smithies constructed. We are overwhelmed by stress. No, we gained the 
trait athletic. Are you kidding me? This man. And we're here for recreation just in time as we are being stressed. That is expensive, but we'll take it. And an arms maintenance, that's another 0.8% down on this upgrade then. I'm not befriending anyone. Who could we befriend? Who would be interesting to befriend? This guy? He's too young, I think. Let's go with this guy. Everyone loves us. So, so many friends. And yet, people are still quite scared as well. Have we ever gone that far for a wedding? I don't think so. I mean, it's an honor to have us there. Let's be honest. Oh, wait, there's something here waiting for us. We must do something. We get a wee cook on the Duchess. Sure. We saved Albina. Okay. We are not paying attention here. We are just to reduce stress. Closer to friendship with the Duke. Sure. Adaptive Traditions. Uh, I'll go with that. We have a bunch of alliances, so embassies will help us. Don't get involved. Yeah. Well. Closer to a friendship and some lifestyle experience, we'll take it. Even though we upset someone else. Man, this wedding is saving Germany. And not at war right now. Praise the party. We'll praise the couple, as expected. Bidding ceremony, let's go. We gained social drinker for 20 years. Quartly vassal opinion plus five. No, nah, no, nah, we'll tone it down. Well, we know how to behave. We are the emperor of the all. Aw. Gronkna gives us some money. Found some gold coin under the cushions for us. We are certainly happy about that. Thank you, Gronkna. Such a good little cat. I think we can pet her again, can't we? Uh, no, we are traveling, so... Can't, can't really do any of that. But let's look at our health in a second. Once I... Oh, no, okay, we're, we're fine. Let's look at our health here. We're fine. We're athletic, we're strong. We got the two figures. We got exotic food. Uh, the rat hunting cat, rat free. <laughs> I'm curious to see how long he'll live. Which is a bit of a bummer, because... That means she will be older when she takes the throne. And she will still have the gout. How do you feel fine with a gout, girl? Oh. Stable quarters. 
I think that was here, so there's nothing up to upgrade there. So now that we're traveling back, can we already declare that war? Yo, we can. Very good. You know what? <laughs> no. Um, we'll go with our claims, the Duchy of Thuringia. That's our claim. And we'll bring in West Rankia as well. Why not? Uh Let's see. Let's Trankia can come help. The Swedish band can come help. I don't think they come. They say they do, but they never do. Let's bring Anjou. And Bavaria as well, because they're right there. We'll just overwhelm them. Completely and utterly overwhelm them. Finish this war quickly. So now that we've pressed it in war, this is now a pressed claim. As opposed to an unpressed claim. Let's set our commander to organize the army. Everyone's joining. Look at how cool they look. God, wars are so expensive. All right. So this army does not have siege weapons. So we'll just put them there. Uh, we'll put them there. We'll put them here. They have the siege. And we'll put them kind of behind everyone. And them also kind of behind everyone. Just to be able to quickly reinforce. In case the enemy shows up. Uh, let's see where our knight is that has the siege thing. Archer damage, army damage, siege is already in the right army. Good. Yes, my warriors will be ready. We will fight. Uh, I think we're going for Egypt. Did I read that right? Yes, Egypt. Let's appoint a beneficiary. Uh, our cousin. Our cousin, him. We are his primary heir, I believe. Our steward, yeah, he deserves it. You know what we could also do? We could, if if we win it and push his claim, we could take over for him. As him, rather. No, Grokna. Sora, go follow her. I will personally find you, my dear Grognar. There you are. Adventurous pet for two years. Extra prowess. <laughs> Push through, they are mere insects. Sorgo strip down, you will walk in front. My antiquarian court physician. Uh, I'm sorry, buddy. They'll be drained by insects. And we're back home again. Let's pet Groknar. Let's work off some stress now. Yeah, sure. Sweaty stench for a year. So we're just not gonna shower for a year. <laughs> King Budo becomes our friend. 50% sure. And King Jakub becomes our friend. King Udo, I don't know, I clicked that away. 
Let's see embassies. That should give us, yep, 42 diplomacy. That's the stuff of legends. All right, so the Germans are besieging us here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all these armies that are not good at sieging, put them together here, and send them down to fight. Do we lead personally? I think we should. We never have, except in the Crusades, so... Let's go in there. Sadly, we didn't take him this time. Last time we did. Okay. Now let's send our troops north to fight this. Did they take anything? No. And it would have been Bavaria anyway. Oh, look at that. Cute little army coming. Bigger little army coming. Not so cute little army. First sunlight for four years. And with the sun to victory. Sunlight speech for four years. Supply duration. Army toughness plus 10%. Now we're leading right now. I think we want the marshal. Um, the sun. I'm struck by the memory of the first sunlight. Of a long winter. Of winter that seemed to last my whole life. The child of memory spreads like a hot water in my veins. Offering comfort and solace. Sun and spring came then and it will come now. Interesting. Okay, we'll catch half the army. Or, well, more than half. but. And now we'll just follow them along and crush them. In six months. We won't be done with this war in six months. I'll I'll tell you that. Okay, you go there. I'll follow. Aha! The fascination of the trebuchet is done. Very good. So where are we being influenced now? I think here. It isn't the trebuchet. It's showing wrong. We have the trebuchet. But that means, to me, we'll need another men-at-arms regiment. Or rather, we'll replace the mangonels with trebuchet. Uh, okay. All right. Interesting. So the Byzantines have a de jour war they wish to fight against us. So we'll get all our allies in there. Every single one. Well, everyone that can. So we're definitely not going to go to that crusade. Definitely not. Let's get some house members in here as well. A little bub. Who can we ransom? Anything good? Yep. Oh, I should have checked. No, there's no important of these. I don't need you in here, really. So what claims are you even pressing? I don't see it. I have no idea what they're pressing. No clue what they're coming for. Oh, well. Can we make another ally real quick? <laughs> like Brittany? Another 11,000 on our side? Finland? Another 9,000? Our cousin? Doesn't help. Uh. Ah, well, I'm sure we will be able to defend. It's just a long, long walk down there. That's the main problem. But that's how they do it. They wait until you are in battle elsewhere, and then they pounce. 
thinking you're now easy prey. Come on, where is he going? There? All right. I don't care about your lover's secret. So what we're going to do is we're going to split this army. And we're going to march both of them south toward the Byzantine Empire. And one of them shall go here. And the other shall go next to them. There. So that way, they're going to walk different paths, basically. With a chance of resupplying on the way. Siege done usually means a uh, hostage. All of our friends are, you know, trying their best there. I think we need to split them more. Okay, over there is where we need to go. So we'll go to Valachia instead. Somewhere there. I mean, they have way, way more troops than us, but it's really nothing for us to do. We have to push through. See, there's a chance that sometimes there's a little bit of resupply going on. Deus Vult and off to the Crusades we do not go. Our girl becomes an astute intellectual and can marry. We shall do so. Okay, the German army has shown up again. I think I need to have to restart the game. This is broken. But we got exposure on land grants. And we'll go north in a moment and fight them there. Our allies should go with us. So this shouldn't be a loss. Even though it looks like one. All the allies are coming, so it should be fine. If they join. Yeah, and they sure do. So we need to keep an eye down in the south as well. I don't know if this is an ally in, in the crusade or what. I don't know what these armies are currently doing. But our armies need to resupply or they're gonna die. Another friend for us. Sure, we'll take it. No, I just want one army, please. The other one can just stay there. Stay there. So we resupply here. Okay, this one is not resupplying anywhere. Go there. To so keep an eye on this now. It's dangerous stuff here. And this army needs to go siege something. Or rather, they need to go fight the Germans again. Come on, my allies, please join me. No? Okay, then we'll siege here. In hopes of our allies just fighting that fight proper for us. Successful business endeavors. Yeah, okay, we'll take that. So they have trebuchets already. Look at that. I don't think we can fight that without our allies. So what does a white piece cost us? 
They won't take it. What does a surrender take? Oh, ho, 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 are you kidding me? No way. No way. It's a de jure war. I don't see how you have a de jure claim on any of what you're fighting for here. I do not see it. We have to finish in Germany. Okay, our Bavarian allies are going south with us. That's suboptimal. Or not. But we do have to keep an eye on it because I'm afraid that my armies will just stand around, around here and be taken, you know. But they are coming for a whole lot of stuff. So this will take a while for them to get there. And if we can just white piece out, that's ideal. We don't need to beat them. Okay, let's go. Everyone, please follow. Oh, sadly, I turned around an ally of ours. Come on, come on, come on. We can reach before they finish. And we can defeat them. Diplomacy perk. Let's see. Adaptive traditions. Really not much of a choice. Still scared. Uh, what we could do is attack him, but, I mean, attack his lands, you know, siege something of his. Okay, let's go for Göttingen now. So the majority of our allies are moving away south now. Okay, they're not, not the majority. So the West Frankians are coming. There's some stuff over there. I hope they're not going to the Holy Land. I hope they're coming for us to join us. Okay, let's join our groups. Look up here, Germany definitely has his troops back together. Our sieging army is growing weaker and weaker. So we have 35,000 here. He has definitely more. And probably better troops as well. But we'll see. We'll go there if our allies follow. Uh, they do not. So we turn swiftly back around. And go where they go? I don't know where they're going. Our friend died. That's a shame. So we're almost done with this siege. And then we have to go south again. Oh, 5%. Can't lose that bit there. I pff. Byzantines might be winning that. I don't really think I have much of a chance. I mean, we do if everyone comes south, but that only happens once we finish uh, with the Germans here. So this will tick up now. But obviously, just getting something else would be better. Uh, let's split this army. It doesn't really matter, but ideally they don't starve here. Well, not too much anyway. Okay, there we go. So that's done now. So we can take everyone and go south fully now. So there's a chance. There is a chance. It is a little bit hectic now, but... This often happens. Unite the West Slavs. Oh, we can do that now. Uh, we get the law absolute crown authority, which I don't want. Every West Slavic kingdom title will have the territories become de jure of our primary title. Uh, we don't get an extra title from it. So this is just a good thing. We do. So let's do that. I've never united the West Slavs. 
everywhere slamming will have the territories become de jour of our primary title. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Our culture discovered men at arms. Glory to Carpathia. Oh, we get a random civic and a random military. So, Scootage and Men at Arms. Let's check those out. Uh, we got Men at Arms, which is big, because that pushes us quite forward toward uh, late medieval here. Uh, we are, we're only missing the time now. And Men at Arms, size of regiments and maximum number goes up, up, up. And we got Scootage, which allows us to get the Scootage Feudal tract, uh, contract uh, and Republican Vassal tax goes up plus five. So that's a that's a big one. That was worth while. Okay, the reason these are looking like they're no longer in our uh, empire is because they are currently independent participants in the crusade. That's why it looks like it does. Doesn't mean we're losing vassals here. I just don't want them to starve while they wait for us and our allies to arrive in the south. Advice. Mercenaries. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, go away with that. There's nothing here in the court. Why was there a notification? Let's see. Court physician. Definitely need one. Our cousin. Our player, heir and daughter. We'll take care for it. Uh, she should take care of herself, but you know. And we'll give her all the, all these titles, so she can do well. Yes, yeah, bring in the Duke. We are absolutely drowning in debt, though. <laughs> well, we're not in debt yet, but we are definitely not earning enough to uh, maintain such a war much longer. So they have taken some of what they want, and they have 40,000 troops down here. I don't think we do. So the enemy is coming for us. Let's start moving all our troops before we get surprised and killed. Ah, uh, will this army be caught out? Ah. Uh, I don't want to become owner of Gropnar's Pelt. I will miss you. That is all. Um. I could send some gold. Uh, I will I will send troops immediately. We lose a level of fame uh, if we do not. I think we'll go with that. Break the alliance here. I I can't I can't afford to go to the crusade. Had it only been my own wars, fine. But it isn't. So now the question is, will our allies be intelligent enough to get together here and defend in one spot together? Or will they insist on fighting all separately? All our troops are finally coming together. So there is a chance we can beat the Byzantines now. Okay. Let's get our troops together. But I think one allied army will be dead. Okay. 
An uh, intricate web weaver. Weaver. Very good. Let's accept that. Let's go. Okay. Uh, I don't want to jump in on that. Or everyone else is jumping in on that. Oh, God. Okay, everyone is jumping in on that. So we have to jump in on that. We'll lose that. Just because it was such a disjointed effort now. So our troops are filtering in way, way, way too slowly. I mean, there's a chance. There's still a good chunk of 16,000 coming in, but that's... Barely enough. It's very evenly matched. Now we're losing. Uh, yeah. Ah, big ouch. Big ouch. Big, 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 big ouch. Oh. This will hurt me for a long, long time to come. Uh, one of our boys dies or something. I don't know. Yeah, that was a huge loss. Huge, huge, huge loss. Bad, bad loss. Uh, did that give us war contribution? No, it's zero still. We have done nothing. Okay. Let's uh, not be discouraged. Let's bring our flag somewhere here. Let's see, how far do we run that way? So we'll move our flag down there. And raise all there. There might be some more people now that are ready to join. Maybe not too many, but even a thousand or so can make a difference. Especially if he keeps splitting his army now. That would be ideal. And it kind of looks like he is doing that. I don't quite know where he's going. But I can attack that for sure. What you got there. So that's his mistake now. I think he's he's hunting that thing. The Duke of Bulgaria. And now he's leaving his vassal behind. Uh, his ally. I don't know what my ally is doing. That doesn't look good for me. Let's see. West Francia. Can call in this guy. I mean, they're nothing, but. Will we catch him? Is the question. We're a little bit stressed, I understand. Uh, let's go on a long walk or something. new perk. Nice. Flexible truces. Not that we need it right now. Let's hold court. Maybe we get money for once. Uh, I don't care about peasant superstitions. Fine, you can have your temple. I don't care. You shall be honored as the hero you are. <laughs> um, gets the county of Totma. Sure, I don't care. Enjoy. Let's host the festival to celebrate our culture.
Now I only see 20,000 down there. Or 10,000, rather. And we have ma uh, more. So... Let's go in there. Maybe we can catch half an army or something. But that should be doable now. So we can beat his army and go take back what he took from us. Very good. That was a big win. That was a very big win. Uh, so we now go retake that stuff, ideally. Like, I'm happy to white piece out of that one. I'm happy to do that. We might have to siege some stuff on the way. Now it's too expensive. Destroy the blooded blade, I don't care. How much will we lose? A thousand. That's big, ouch. I think we'll cross over to here and take it from there. Can already start splitting this. Okay, this is a little bit silly to select the armies like that. It doesn't work too well. Uh, which army has the siege mangonels? This army. This army goes here. This army goes there, this army goes here, and this army goes there. So everyone can just kind of take on supplies again. Uh, this army should probably... Wait, how does supply work? Will you get anything? I saw sometimes I saw the sieging army still take on supplies, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So we'll put it like that. Our allies will do something, I'm sure. But we want our troops well supplied. Immediately shoots up our cost, of course, because we have more troops to pay for. Maybe we finish this before the crusade is over, so we can actually do something in there. It's not going to be much, mind, but it's better than nothing. I really like supply as a mechanic. Really makes it all a little bit more interesting. You need to make some strategic decisions. See, like they're supplying. Stop moving away. Just because I move, you don't need all move as well. A granddaughter, a hyper-intelligent genius. Matrilineal, what will we get? Ruthenia? I mean, sure, why not? Good. This has 14,000 supply limit. That's crazy. Just moving there so we get a little bit closer to our main army. 5%. Okay, he will accept the white piece. Um, I could demand hostage as well. Which he will not accept. But soon he will. Now he will. <laughs> Can I get... Yeah, she's the youngest. Oh, we take the hostage with a claim on it. No, he doesn't want that. Okay. Let's go with the white piece. Okay, so he spent a whole lot of everything. And our allies shared a bunch of prestige from that. The nightmare is over. 
Let's jump into the next one, shall we? Uh, what is... To be had? So I'll go here. And then we'll just go for... Well, Jerusalem is already in our hands. We'll go for that. Sure, no one's there. The Duke, yes, show him in. Thank you. Do we have more prisoners? This one guy, sure. So we started these wars with 3,000 troops. <laughs> And now look where we're at. Oh, God. Ah, no, not with 3,000 troops, with 3,000 gold. What am I saying? So that costs us a good amount of money, traveling down there. Another granddaughter, she's fine. Go with that. I don't care. Matrilineal. Now that it's equal inheritance, we only go for matrilineal anymore. Our war contribution is 2%. Not zero anymore. I can tell you that much. Accomplished forger. More fabricate claim. Doesn't really matter for us. This is what matters. We are already organizing the troops, but... Hopefully we get a cent out of this. We're known for our dedication to our faith. Good stuff. Look. We got something. Let's go for Cairo. Oh, we could defend what was taken. Let's do that. We seized an ancient plaque. You know what that means. Money in our coffers. The chastity belt. Gone. The antique plaque. Gone. That's really all we can throw away. I mean, I am Crusader, am I not? What does it do for us? Right, it doesn't help us in fighting out here. See, we just won that. Our war contribution is 49% all of a sudden. And we're in the first place and we just we just literally won the Crusades. Uh, extra vigilant. Extra 225 gold. Come on now. And thanks to us winning the Crusade. St. George is with us. We get a nice little injection. So be it. <laughs> Ah, uh, lucky. Lucky. Utter and pure luck. Nothing else. We did lose our steward though, because he is now a king down there. But we can put in the Valachian king, King Jakob IV, who is quite adept at what he's doing. So he's ideally suited for that. Uh, let's keep organizing the army. I don't know why that helps us. Raised army maintenance minus 22%. I don't know why that still matters, but we'll leave him on it until it doesn't matter anymore. Wait, did I not just... No, I don't have armies raised. It's all good. I don't know why we earn so much more money right now. That feels like a glitch. That shouldn't be that way. Okay. Let's upgrade that for 900 gold. 20 plus 26? Why? Okay, I put him back. Hey, it doesn't matter anymore. 
We're overwhelmed by stress. Time to go do some stuff. We'll talk to a confidant. Everyone kind of hates us for it. And we'll go and be sweaty a little bit. Come on, get over here. We might be wounded. But we just got good exercise for a year. Okay, our health is now poor. We are 70. It's to be expected, you know. But luckily, we went out with a bang in this uh, specific, particular rulership. Very good. Lines about legacy. It's truly heartfelt. Thank you so much. We could found a holy order because I think it was just destroyed again. I don't even know where I can put them. I don't want to put them anywhere at home. My army is not a nursery. I don't have anything to give them. So I'm not going to do that. Uniting the Slavs. Still need a chunk out of Bavaria. We took way more out of Germany than we needed. But we needed that for... Uh, for the place, for the stuff, for the things, you know. So we'll work on that. Eventually the Byzantine Empire might crumple. Wait. What? What happened here? Alright, okay. Interesting. Sicily is trying to take a chunk out of uh, the Empire, but they are not having it. Randy Alexis. Today my son Ludov, who rules my liege tonight, I'm having the kitchens prepare the richest sauces. I can't wait. Oh, sure. We have become obese. Good. One night of excess at the age of 70. I think if we ever deserved it, we deserve it now. Diplomacy challenge against King Tungsten. Sure. Challenge to a board game. We'll take it. We'll go with our knowledge. We did it. We'd love to play again. Thank you so much. I don't want to found a holy order. Thanks. All right. All of a sudden, we can have 33,000 troops. Crazy. Catholic Egypt. Wait, aren't we already friends? What happened here? What? Okay, I, I don't think our... I think our boy got something here. He got a title. A title. I don't know which one, though. But he didn't become the king. It appears. I don't know. Oh, well, what can you do? We're no longer allied to Bavaria. Let's get that alliance negotiated ASAP. Maybe Germany wants to be <laughs> an ally as well. Or Frisia? No. But Bavaria and I, we go through thick and thin. We have gone, we're going way back. Well, let's make another friend here. We've been very good with that. Carpathia truly is a sight to behold. And we fended off the Byzantine might. Granted, only with th some friends, but... <sighs> Seizing all these Jure lands is so little. Could go for all these over there. But it's also so little. We would win, and it would be a time and a uh, half to see the Byzantines so weak again. <sighs> I think that is something for next time. Uh, we'll end the stream for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you watched on Twitch, totally appreciate it. 
Thanks so much. Hope you're around next time as well. If you're watching over on YouTube, I absolutely also appreciate that. Uh, if you're not following on Twitch, consider doing that and vice versa. Uh, links are down in the description or in the channel info stuff. Otherwise, I hope your campaigns in Crusader Kings are going really, really well. That you become the ruler of all the lands your eyes uh, are fixed upon. And that your family may not betray you if it can be avoided. Thanks so much. Have a lovely evening, day or night. Until then, bye-bye.